All right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Hobfoot. Welcome back to the Brat Cat channel. We are here with an unboxing. Look at that. This thing is huge. This box is absolutely massive. Um, yeah, we've got the Horizon Forbidden West. Regal Regala? Regala? I forget how they say it. Uh, edition. And we're going to be unboxing it and seeing what's inside. I am so excited. I checked all day for this uh to to arrive on the stoop and uh stoop <laughs> but uh yeah we're going to uh crack this open and see what's inside i am very very hyped get on my white chair go ahead and check this out looks like we open from the side here let's go ahead and cut our tabbies Do we have one on the bottom? Yes, we must have one on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I don't know how professional YouTube peoples do this. Let's uh, swing it open here and see. <laughs> Oh my, look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. Uh, let's try and find a way to uh, slide this out of the box here. I think this is going to be some problem. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh my gosh. I have so much respect for Bitwit. He does all his stuff one-handed. I have two. How does he do it? Make sure I don't knock my tea over. Oops. So far, not going as well uh, as I had hoped. It's like stuck on something. It's stuck on my lack of intelligence, that's what it's stuck on. There we go. Whew. That was like vacuum suction on. I thought, oh, oh wow, it's like checking her face out. So check this out, guys. Look at this. Oh, okay, we got some San Francisco gate there. We got some claw striders, some ruins in the background. Some whatever those people are. Wow. Oh man, this thing is so cool. All right, let's uh, let's see what's inside. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness! Wow, that thing is monstrous. Holy cow! Check that out, guys. I'm just... Wow, I am speechless. Let's set this guy off to the side here. Wow, I don't I, I don't even know where to start. Let's, um... Got a little uh, goodie box right here. Wow. That tremor tusk is massive. We got this cool inside of the case box display thing there. We've uh, also got some instructions on how to put this together. 
what all comes... Does it have LEDs in it? It looks like that says it has LEDs. What? And battery. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? This thing's... And that thing's got battery too? What? Okay. Yo, I am like seriously hyped about this. This is going to be awesome. We got a box in a box here? What is... This is wrapped in... slide out this way. Wow. Guys, this thing is something else. Alright, let's take a look at our drawer here. So it looks, we well, got a little base there. It's got a thing. And you can see where this is supposed to sit in around it. And uh, let's go ahead and open our drawer here. And let's take a look at that. This video is going to be horrible. I'm sure. Well, it's picking her face up again. So we have our steel case here, which looks awesome. And we have our art book. Oh, the box is ripped a little bit. A little bit of a rip there. A little bit of crushing there. More rips. Alright, we'll have to be... I don't know if that picked up on camera or not, but we'll have to be very careful with this. Okay, here is a close-up of our steel case. And the back looks to be kind of the, uh, the art that we saw on the overall uh, box here. Thumb Strider. Um, these, for whatever reason, do not come with the discs. A little disappointed by that, but... We've got all of our codes here for all of our special edition things. And here is our art book. I'm going to get some more footage of this in a little bit. Let's crack this puppy open. I feel like I suddenly can uh, sympathize with uh, teachers this last year trying to teach on Zoom. Alright kids, let's read this book. Well, that's, that's just another page that says the same thing. Oh, Dark Horse put this together. Alright, we got some we got some glare on here, but we got some uh... Clearly, I don't know how to light things. Okay, that's not any better. Now there's a view. That's pretty cool. We've got more machines here. We got some tribe stuff. We got the Osirum, the Tanax, Tanask, Tanax. Okay, well, I don't know how to say their name. That's clear. So much good stuff in here. Alright, enough of this nonsense. And we've got all this stuff here. We'll do some close-ups. We have got a couple art cards here. If I can get the knife. If I can get the packaging open. Oh, I'm sure this is so horrible. Oh wow, these are really nice prints. They're like a nice matte quality. Man, this thing's pretty good at picking up faces. I don't think the face shower upper thing will pick up. Additionally, we have this cool feather spear thing. I don't know what that's about. Super dope, though. Love that.
And here we've got a piece to the board game. I think this is supposed to be a claw strider. I suppose. I've not played the board game. I always wanted to get it, but I never have. The thought was always like, oh, it's too expensive. But then I go ahead and I buy things like these collector's editions and it's like, oh yeah, that much cheaper board game was too expensive, huh? You know. That's how it goes. This looks to be, I don't think this is a glint hawk. I think this is supposed to be the new birds, like a sunwing or something. Hmm. But we've got those. And then, what I'm super, super excited about. That's right, a wooden plastic triangle. Okay, that's that's not it. That's not what I'm excited about. No. Instead, we have a focus. Oh yeah. And this triangle piece is merely a stand for it, which is pretty cool. Um, but gauging by the hook, I imagine you could actually like hook it to your ear. Don't quote me on that, but I don't see why you could. So let's go ahead and remove this little tabby do. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, the whole thing is a butt. There you go. You push it, it lights up. Very cool. And last, but certainly not least, what we have here. I don't know if I will be able to. Wait, is this upside down? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's words on the bottom. We have the map. I love maps. Maps are freaking cool. Looks like they've left some space. We can get some DLC. All sorts of stuff going on. Look at this. We've got this dope island going on over here. Peninsula thing. We got these like markers, which I'm assuming are camps of some type. Man, we got plenty of mountains, and plains, and jungle, and we have all sorts of stuff. I think this guy right here in the center, that looks to be the one with the thing that sticks up. You can see all the little dots all around it. That's probably the converted solar tower that's a town or something of some type. I don't know. We'll know when we play. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So we got a little delta thing going on up there. Hmm, little floodplain type. And Horizon Forbidden West. What what? This is so cool. You know it's not a video I've done if I don't have some tea. Hmm. Perfect. Look at all that stuff. Look at how just Amazing all that stuff is. And we still got the big guy left. There he is, a little bit guy. So let's go ahead and cut him open. Well, that sounded dark. All right. Look at that beastie. We're gonna finish taking this all apart. Look at all that detail. We don't even have this all the way open. We've got all this detail. Okay, that's why it looks funky. The uh, tusks came out of the case. I was wondering where the rest of the stuff was. We've got a trunk as well. Let's slide. Back of this off. Oh my gosh, just all the detail that we have. Oh, come on, get out of the thing, you stupid. 
Oh, it's like gonna break or something. Oh, that worries me. Check this out. I don't know if we'll get a good close up on it or not. There we go. Stay focused. And check this out. Oh, it's moving already. Look at that. We've got jointed movement. Oh, yeah, super cool. Let's put them together. Before we do that, however, we have an alloy for scale. Isn't that nuts? So, well, let's stick them all together. See where we end up. You can see here we've got all this detail. Let's see if we can get zoomed in on it. You can see the corruption all along it. You can see the paint coming down the center there. Of course, we don't have any tusks yet. I don't know if that's corruption coming out of its shoulder there. If that's paint or if that's a weapon stuck in there come up and of course we've got this plinth that everything is on somebody manning the thing these pieces everywhere oh we got another guy up top everybody's directing all the action we got this little hut up here come down here and follow its legs down foot's up, you can see the where the paint on the metal would have been coming off. You can see the textured, well, I don't know what you call that. It's not really a stand, but the ground plate thing. Very awesome. Up on its side. You can see what I have always assumed have been capacitors on the machines. Giant, giant capacitors. You can be sure we'll have to shoot those off at some point. We've got the back end of this hut right here. It's even got like a little fence back there or something. It seems odd. And of course we've got these flags coming off the back, ruffling in the wind. We've got actual string to represent the rope here. Very, very cool. All sorts of greens and reds. Let's rotate this guy around. We've got another guy on the side. So we got three guys manning this thing on top of being on top of this giant, giant wreck your day asaurus. So here's something I discovered while getting ready to put this up on the table to disassemble all this, or I mean to assemble it all. Um, I noticed a rattle. Mine comes, I guess, pre-installed with a rattle. In uh, in the center of my tremor tusk, and when I was trying to figure out uh, what all goes on, I discovered huh, the head comes off, and it comes off for a good reason, a very cool reason, which uh, we shall see right here. That's right. You can adjust what color the eyes are at. Super dope. I don't know, still don't know what that rattle is. Probably never will. It's stuck on the inside for forever. But that is pretty dope. What I think is a fair word of warning is if you decide to take that head off at some point in time, uh, there will be two big pieces on either side. You can see them right there that need to, that white piece with the red. They'll need to pop out. But there's also two really tiny ones, one on either side. Uh, kind of tucked up back way underneath there that uh, you'll have to attach uh, the one on this side before you put the head on and then when you slide the head on you can attach the one on the other side so I doubt that will help 
anybody ever, but there you go. Um, let's get all the other stuff puts on. How about it? Let's get to it. Here we have the trunk all on its own. Look at those vicious spikes on there. Oof. And, uh, yeah, this thing is movable, posable as well. Pretty freaking cool. And here we have our tusks. They're not tremoring very much now. Ha 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 ha. But, well, I guess maybe the tusks are meant to make you tremor. I guess that's why it's a tremor tusk. Mm, tea's cold. Let's go ahead and grab our pieces here. We've got our tusk and, or I'm sorry, our trunk and our tusks. Let's see. This tusk is bendable. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, there you go. Trunk is all bendable. Wow, it's really bendable. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our trunk on first. I feel like that's going to keep it out of the way. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Maybe I should have put that on when I had the head off. I don't know. All right, let's get, got a couple, the trunk had a little ball socket that's set out there. We got some more on these guys. I don't know if you can tell right there on them. We've also got these things color coded, so that's nice. Oh yeah, wow, that's just so satisfying. There we go. There's things in here that look like joints. They're made to look like joints, like that, and like that. But they're not actually joints. And let's find... Oh, there we go. There we go. There is our guy. Make sure I'm not having, leaving any pieces anywhere. There is our guy. All put together. That's just cool. Well, I went to get some more tea. I never believe what I found up next to the kettle when I was up there. All sorts of surprises. So you can see here we've got the uh, Regala edition, obviously. And then we've got... The regular collector's edition. We are not going to go through the whole unboxing of the collector's edition. It's the same thing as uh, the Regala edition, primarily, but we're going to show these differences. And first off, we're going to do so um, with these boxes. You can see, obviously, black versus white. You've got same geometric patterns and such, although you've got a little bit more uh, color to pop out on the black side uh, and kind of blend in with the uh, Regala tremor, cut, tremor tusk on that one and then we've got markings on the side these things don't like to stay closed we've got these same symbols there for the cauldrons and um on the other side here we have a little uh icon symbol thing oh well that one's different i never noticed so we've got two different symbols here uh showing our differences where we have Icon symbol thing for what, I, for what is a tremor tusk, which I'm assuming is going to be what is going to be on the map, uh, although I don't know that, or, but that's generally the shape and design style from Zero Dawn that the emblems on the map to indicate locales are at. And uh, this, I can only assume, this green arrow pointy thing with the triangles and the lines and the what has it. I can only imagine that that is uh, the symbol for Regalo or for that tribe, although I am certainly not certain about that. 
And then, of course, we don't really need to see the back too much. It just tells you what's in the back. But we do have some different uh, arts on the back there as well. They will not stay closed. The boxes are too loose. But that is a good thing because uh, these boxes are just the outer boxes for the inner box, as you saw. Uh, so see, here obviously on the regular collector's edition, we've got... You know, I can't tell what those are. It was like rocks just decorated to that tribe, I guess. And then uh, on the Regala edition, we've got whom I'm assuming are important characters in this one. And then you can see a little picture of the Tremor Tusk in the background there. And of course, it tells you all that comes in with everything. In addition to these boxes, we've got another comparison to make. So let's flip this guy around. In addition to those boxes, we've got another comparison to make. We have the box from the original Zero Dawn Collector's Edition. And uh, what we can do here is just do a quick comparison of all the things in addition to the two editions themselves, see how they compare to what came before. And the first thing you'll notice is you have the big picture on the front. That seems pretty obvious. I mean, of course, they were going to do that. It's kind of how, you know, marketing works. But you also... I have this geometric pattern. Additionally, you have these symbols. I don't know what this symbol is on the side of the Zero Dawn box. I don't know that I recall seeing it anywhere in the original game. And then it's just the same on the other side. Here now, of course, we have our two, I'll say, probably our main boxes. They're the inner boxes. These are made of a much thicker board. They're both beautiful, beautiful art on them. The um, one on the left, the collector's edition, is made of a nicely finished, nice matte painted surface. But that is ultimately a corrugated board. However, and it's a shame I can't really get this across on the camera, I will try and take some B-roll of it, but the box from the Regala edition is an actual, uh, I'll say board, uh, uh, an actual dense paper board, and uh, they're both lovely, definitely tell the quality difference. The Regala edition is much, much heavier, and of course we have, we have our arts. We have our back sides here that are each a little bit different. Love them both. We've got completely different tunnel palettes going on. It's wonderful. And of course, if we compare to the original Zero Dawn box, uh, the box in a box. Uh, we have something similar. We have another uh, corrugated board, but it's not nearly as thick as our Regala Edition corrugated board. This is somewhere in between uh, where paperboard meets uh, our regular corrugated board. And the uh, art is again beautiful and striking. Of course, we've got our monstrous thunder jaw on there the zero dawn box is is glossy and i've got to say i enjoy the matte so much more so much more it really is quite a striking difference it probably doesn't uh show on camera as much as i would like but it uh is quite the difference now we have here for comparison the uh, steel cases that came in these collector's edition. Again, both beautiful art. Another strong difference between these, we've got for the Zero Dawn case, we have a very glossy, even though it's still this metallic, this brushed metallic look, which usually goes more towards a matte finish. Uh, we do have a glossy finish on that, and we do have the matte finish on the Forbidden West version of the case. I do find it interesting that they both keep in with tradition to each other, so far as they both have a metallic cast to them. 
Um, I suppose that is probably something that's just inherent in the steel cases. I don't have very many. Uh, and I don't recall offhand whether I've seen any that were not uh, in some way brushed. As in the brushed metal effect. So we've got that going on here with both of them. Now, like I've said uh, previously, I did not get my Zero Dawn Collector's Edition from the get-go. So unfortunately, all the Collector's Edition codes that came in there um, were either used or no longer valid. I don't know, because it was so much longer after that uh, even if they weren't used, they wouldn't be valid. So I have no way of knowing uh, which was which. But I've never had the cool extra uh, outfits, which is a shame. I just have to hope that one day I get famous enough to, you know, get uh, get Sony to throw me a bone. Like, hey man, Sony, like you wanna you wanna hook me up with these uh, with some extra codes, you know? It's just so I can get the, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hold my breath. The one thing I was disappointed with with the Forbidden West Collector's Edition is that neither of them came with discs. I got the case, it's got two disc spots, but it didn't come with a disc. The Zero Dawn Collector's Edition did, and it's really a shame. I really like buying physical copies of things to have the disc. You never know what kind of things can go wrong when you start dealing with codes and digitally things that aren't tied to something immutable. guess we'll be waiting for cryptography and blockchain to make it into broader use so that that doesn't happen. And everything's permanently tied to you, but until then, wah, 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 I lost out. So did everybody else, I guess. I don't recall whether it was originally stated in the first advertising whether it was going to come with the discs or not. I don't recall seeing anything that specifically said it would not. Uh, if they didn't specifically say it would either, that's, you know, I guess, you know, uh, truth from omission or lying by omission, whatever you want to phrase that as. One of our last order of comparisons between the two collector's editions uh, from Zero Dawn to Forbidden West is our art booklet. Again, more iconic uh, imagery. We've got the Aloy on a beach in front of the bridge with the bird. Uh, that's been plastered all over everything. What I find interesting is the Zero Dawn art book, and it's got an image that I don't recall seeing very often. It doesn't seem like it was a wide-used promotional material, which I find very interesting. I kind of wish they'd have gone that way with the Forbidden West one. I really enjoy, with the Zero Dawn art book, that in addition to things like, oh, this is what Zero Dawn is, because it's also the first game and it's the new type of game for Gorilla as a studio, you've got all sorts of, and you've got all sorts of things that border on concept art, which I really enjoy. Uh, I have not had a whole lot of time to flip through the Forbidden West one, really get a good look at it. So I'm not 100% sure, but from what I recall, I don't I don't remember there being a whole lot of concepty art type stuff in the Forbidden West one. So that'll be very interesting. And now finally here, of course, we have our Tremor Tusks. And as you can see, the boxes that these things come in act as a, a display of sorts. Their background arts are, are different, and we'll show those in just a minute, get some close-up of that. You can see that they've obviously constructed the bottoms of the boxes differently due to the amount of things that come with them. This is very fascinating. Now for our Zero Dawn Collector's Edition, the figurine that came with that did not come uh, with a little, the box didn't turn into a little display thing. I guess technically you could unfold it and make the picture big, unfold the whole box, but yeah, nothing like this, that is for sure. So let's go ahead and get a look at these boxes. And obviously here you can see how these backgrounds are different. We have basically the scene from the back on our collector's edition. The main outer box has a scene of rocks and some things on them with some people standing there. I still can't tell what it is um, on the back of it, kind of as a background thing, and that is what we see as a background for this box. 
The Regala edition, however, uh, does not match the back of the box, but does still meet our theme. You can clearly see we've got some Regala, we got some Regala ass Regala stuff going on there. Very scary. Fire and spikes and doom and stuff. So that is very interesting. And now here you can see that we have our tremor tusks. Same base body model thing, but um, you know, different. We've got different paint jobs. We've got um, we got some differences with them. The regala, obviously, you can't miss it. it. Has a giant, giant. I don't know what you call it. A carriage, I guess, sitting up on the back of it. We don't have that on the collector's edition one. Instead, we have what looks to be the normal equipment. We've got some antennae-looking thing popping out the back. Probably some guns up on the top. You can also tell that, uh, if you really look closely at it, we don't have any of the cables that usually indicate corruption or an override, either red or blue. Um, there's around the head in some other places in the Regala Edition one, which makes sense if they have overridden them, and we don't have any in the Collector's Edition one. They have the same bases, everything's the same, same poses, uh, but we do have more mobility in the tusks of, the tusks and trunk of the Regala Edition. So lots of cool different stuff going on there. And now here we have some alloys for scale and for not for scale. This center alloy that we've got is the one from the original collector's edition for Zero Dawn. Posing looking all boss. And then of course we have the Tremor Tusks from the collectors and from the Regala edition. Obviously I said we've got alloy for scales. We've got little alloys for scale. That big one is obviously not to scale. And that's pretty much it for the models and the contents of all these boxes. And we've got some, some comparisons going on. Hopefully you've seen enough of these things zoomed out with uh, paired with plenty of zoom clips and up close and personal things that uh, you really get a sense of what's going on here. I don't know if you'll ever be able to get a Regala edition going on, but uh, the regular collector's edition I ordered last minute. Definitely wasn't going to. So there might still be some left. It uh, remains to be seen. So you can get your hands on one if you want, or after seeing this, you can say, eh, it doesn't seem worth it. It's completely up to you. So we're going to end this now. Thanks so much for tuning into the Brad Cat channel. Appreciate you hanging out here with us and for tuning in to what amounts to being our second unboxing. Uh, hopefully better than the first. And if we do a third, hopefully it'll be better than this one. Honestly, between the two, I can't really see how they can tend to get much worse. So, that's it. If you have any uh, questions or comments about this or anything else, you can uh, let us know down in the comment section below. And uh, let us know what you think about this and our presentation. Any notes and anything you have uh, can all go down there. You can also contact us directly on Twitter, at Bradcat Media. So, uh, we'd love to hear from you if you want to you know, fangirl out about, because I'm a total fangirl for Horizon, definitely, just I just am. Uh, so if you want to fangirl out on Twitter, uh, add us, and um, we can talk about this and, and all sorts of stuff. And of course, if you want to talk to me directly, you can do so on Twitter, at Hobfoot. So that's it for me. Once again, thanks so much for your patience and understanding of this less than perfect unboxing. Hopefully you have enjoyed it immensely and it has given you some insight and some stuff. And uh, yeah, peace out Girl Scouts.